I'm going to be trying to make uh, an iFish Pro style tip up. Welcome to Backroads Angling. Today I've got a special episode for you. I'm down here in the Backroads Angling Research and Development Laboratory. So it was about a year ago that I kicked off this channel and I did a DIY uh, rod building, ice fishing rod building episode. I showed how in five minutes you can turn your long rods from open water fishing into ice fishing rods. You can check that video out. If you look in the description, I'll post that video down below. Um, but today I'm going to be trying to make uh, an iFish Pro style tip up, a uh, DIY style for only a couple bucks. Um, so if you don't know what an iFish Pro is, so it's like a normal tip up, but the good thing about it is, is that it allows you to fight the fish on the rod. Instead of hand lining the fish in, you can actually fight it on your rod. Um, so what we need for an iFish Pro tip up, it's a pretty simple mechanism. We just need uh, some sort of a trigger to trip the flag so we can see when we've got a fish. And then we need to be able to allow that, that fish to free spool the line. It's a pretty simple idea. So I've been down here working for a few days trying to figure this out. And I think I've come up with something that's going to work well for an iFish Pro style tip up this winter. So first of all, let's get to what we need to actually make this iFish Pro style tip up. First thing that we're going to need is a piece of wood here. So I have this one I just measured. It's 24 inches. It's just a scrap piece of wood. Inch and a half thick. You could go a little thinner than that, but I kind of like that it's so heavy and it's, it's nice heavy duty. It's not going to move when the flag goes up or anything. So it's really stable. So 24 inches long, inch and a half thick. And then we're going to need a, a mouse trap. So this is key because uh, this is going to be our trigger mechanism. I like the ones by Victor. The important thing is that you get the ones that have this, this little trigger mechanism, this, this center bar here that kicks out to the side when it releases. And that's going to be our trigger to release the line and release the flag. Okay. So we need the wood, the mouse trap, uh, some tubing. And uh, I just have this tubing. It's from the shelving that I have down here in the basement, actually. And I'm just going to cut a little piece off of that. And that's going to be our rod holder. Over, and we're going to put that over here. Um, you need a uh, springy doorstop like this. So these come from Amazon. They're maybe not even a dollar a piece. Uh, you got the spring. Let me take this out of here, I guess. You got the spring and you have this nice little plastic piece on the end and that's actually gonna come into play here. That's gonna be important. And then you need a flag. I found find that I these uh, landscaping flags that you can get at a hardware store, I think are gonna work great. They're about the right strength and length. And uh, they're only about 25 cents a piece. You're gonna need a few screws here. One long one, this is an inch and five eighths. It doesn't have to be quite that long, but I would say something in that ballpark. And then one that is a half inch, I think. I think it's a half inch screw. Uh, something roughly in that size. So one long one, one short one. You're going to need a drill. And then to drill the hole in our tip up, you're gonna need one of these uh, circular bits. Okay, I think that about covers it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to place my mouse trap uh, probably about a quarter of an inch to probably between a quarter and a half an inch off of this edge here. So I'm just gonna trace the corners. So the line is gonna be connected right about here to this mouse trap. So I wanna go straight out here and I'm just gonna make a little line right here. And that is where the center of my hole I want it to be. So then I'm gonna take my drill bit. So I'd say about right there. So I'm just gonna push down with this drill bit and make a hole there marking it. Okay, so you can see there where that hole is gonna be. All 
right, so there's that hole. Okay, I'm about halfway through. I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut a little cut here with my saw all the way through to that, that hole. And that's gonna be where when we come up to the tip up and a fish has it, it's taking line, you can remove the tip up from the rod and slide the line through that little gap there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm just gonna aim for the center. I think I'll go ahead and attach my mouse trap here. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do first of all with this mouse trap is we don't need this kill bar. And if you leave it on when it sets, it's just gonna make a ton of noise and it's gonna spook the fish. So we want to take the kill bar off because we don't even need that. So there's just these two little pins right here. Okay, there we go. I think that's gonna come out now. A little three quarters inch screw. And I could drill a hole, but I don't really need to. I'm just gonna go right in the middle. You can see here, I'm in the middle of the, the back part of the mouse trap, And I'm gonna screw this right in. All right, there it is. It's really tight, tight onto there. It's not gonna go anywhere. Okay, so that's our trigger mechanism. Now, we wanna set up our rod holder. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna cut out about three to three and a half inches of this tubing. I just wanna measure it out so it's just on a slight slant. Okay, kinda of like that. I mean, just a little bit of a slant. And then I'm gonna mark. All right, so that went pretty well. So it's gonna sit kind of like that. And I wanna set this kind of off to the side. Let me see. So you can take your rods, a rod that's about the size you want it to be, and you want this eyelet to be pretty close to the center of your hole. So I think this is pretty good. So I'm gonna put mine right in the corner like that. And then I'm gonna take my drill. And I'm just gonna drill a little pilot hole And see how I kind of had to go in straight so I could get a good grip on it and then kind of turn towards the wood and, and get going more at an angle before I actually entered the woods. And I'm gonna screw that baby in there. There we go, that thing's not going anywhere. And I can kind of move it a little bit so I'm, I'm kind of uh, angling it so it's going straight down that hole. Now we want to set up our flag setup. So for that, we're going to need this guy. So this, this plastic thing on the top of this doorstop is kind of nice because you can just push real hard and get this flag to go through that. And then it's like a nice snug fit. See, just like that, it's perfect. And it also allows you to kind of adjust the length of your flag. You can go up or down, and it's a really nice snug fit. So I kind of like that. And so let's just go ahead and do a test run here and to find what the perfect distance is that we want this. So it's going to come like this. I'm going to get it over on the edge as far as possible so we're not hitting anything in terms of our rod or... or interfering with our rod. So I'm just gonna draw a circle. I like that spot right there. I'm just gonna draw a circle right there. And then that's where I'm gonna put my holder. Just like that, I'm gonna take this little screw that comes with the door stop, and I'm just gonna screw that in. Okay, I've got that tight. And then you can just Screw in this door stop. There we go. Perfect. 
Now, I'm gonna test out and see if we've got it in the right position. Nice thing is you can turn it a little bit too if your flag's not kind of pointing the way you want. So, the way that this mousetrap works is normally that kill bar pushes up against this center bar and it forces it into this little trigger mechanism so it holds it ever so slightly. And then when a mouse comes and hits it, it releases that center bar, which releases the trigger bar. In this case, instead of having the kill bar holding, putting upward pressure on the trigger mechanism, we're gonna have our flag. You can see how when we put that flag underneath, it puts a lot of upward pressure Okay, so I might do a little more smoothing down later, but for now I've got it on both sides pretty smooth. I'd be pretty confident putting line through there thinking that it wasn't gonna break, get caught in anything. Okay, so now that we've got this done, we can test it out here. So I, I've been playing around with it a little bit. For me, the, the way that works best, if we're pretending that this is the ice hole and that is, we're in three feet of water or something, and that's our bait down there at the desired depth. Um, the, the easiest way that I think to do this, and it doesn't require a bobber stop or anything like that, is to simply wrap this twice around this middle trigger bar. And then set the trigger bar, set the flag like that. And this doesn't require a bobber stop or anything. Uh, it holds nicely and then when a fish comes along and pulls the line, the line releases and goes down the hole and the fish can free spool. The flag goes up, you know that you've got a fish. So that to me is even e easier than an iFish Pro because you don't need a bobber stop and it works just fine um, to just wrap it on the trigger. Wrap it twice, one, one loop, two loops, and then lock it down. And then fish pulls, down it goes. And you can come pick up the rod, take this line out through the little slit that you made in the wood, and you can then feel the fish and set the hook, fight the fish. Okay, everybody, I think that's all I've got for you today. Pretty simple, uh, iFish Pro style tip up build here. And I think it's gonna work. Uh, there's uh, maybe a few things that I'm going to have to fine tune. I need to get out to the, the ponds and lakes and test them out. If you want to actually see how they function, stay tuned. And yeah, in the coming weeks, I'll put out a, a video or two showing these iFish Pro style tip-ups in action. I'll catch you on the next episode of Backwards Angling. See you later. <laughs>